There was diversity and infinite variety among our people. Everywhere there was that tremendous impress of oneness which had held all of us together to overcome it. And he goes on to add, some kind of a dream of unity had occupied the mind of India since the dawn of civilization. That unity was not conceived as something imposed from outside. It was something deeper and within its fold. The widest tolerance of belief and custom was practiced and every variety acknowledged and even encouraged. To land through deep bonds of emotion, spirituality and culture. We may have grown up in different environments, experienced different political fates, some of us even gross misfortune, but in the final analysis, we are all bound together by a common code of Indian tradition. May I say that relationships are easily established where there is affinity. Now, our kinship with India provides us an abundance of Indian origin, have excelled in all these fields and more, and are often regarded as leaders in their own areas of expertise. For us in Fiji, India has long been an inspiration. Our own initial agitation for political rights gained much of its momentum from the Indian struggle for independence. The Indian diaspora is by no means homogeneous. We who come from outside India have been raised and nurtured in highly diverse environments. Our experience jibes did not bear them any grudges. In any case, Negroes, whites, and Indians, rather than living in clans, all came together in the melting plot, pot that was Guadeloupe, while at the same time retaining their specific cities, the typical Indian masalas are used uh, in the food prepared every day by the people, the celebration of various events like Semblani, um, evoking the uh, great epics, still continue. Moreover, uh, which is truly an uh, American Mediterranean is the geor geographical self in this region, which is a precursor to the future uh, mixed mixing of humanity, or to have some person accredited by the government of India in order to promote contacts and exchanges. Furthermore, envisage a uh, um, large conference to be held in 2004 uh, to celebrate the presence of India. So we have to be working together and that is the theme, networking, working together. We have wonderful set of speakers. I want to give all my time to them. Thank you very much. Foreign policy, Hindustan ki international presence, utni hi ho, ab jitni Nehru ke wakit hua karti thi. We have distinguished people like the Prime Minister of a country. We have other people in this great land we need to make sure that we as Indians are able to leave our imprint on the international issues of the day, be it the non-aligned movement, be it the Commonwealth, be it the UN, be it the great issues of peace and disarmament, be it the great issues of equality, injustice, and unfairness across the world. India can be a beacon of hope for the rest of the world. We're the land of the Buddha, we're the land of the Gandhi, we're the land of the Nanak, and we're the land of all of the great leaders that we've had in this great country.
So I want to say to you, um, I think the, there is no question in our mind that we are proud of being Indian. We are Indians in different ways. Some of us, like myself, remain exclusively Indian citizen. Others maybe may have a different citizenship but still have the sense of belonging.